Okay, so let's go into the Urgle Encampment. Urgle Encampment. Be careful, young one. Urgle guards, watch the path. Quietly, or we'll alert the entire Urgle camp. So, yeah, we... Well, that didn't work. Oh well. And sometimes... The reason why I said that I wish this game had a better battle system is that sometimes, even when you know how to do the combo, the combo never happens. Like, I tapped the accept button combo to do the whole knockback smash. You know, that one. And he just kept flailing and then started doing the heavy swings. Like, that's not what I told him to do. He just peeked out and then died. A shame. Alright, let's... I don't think we can actually go through here. Nope, it is a wall inside that cave. Though it looks like a lot, uh, a much deeper cave on my end. Two guards, take them both out silently. Pretty good for a dirt farmer. There we go. So let's quickly rush over here. Now this is a level where I don't know where the egg is, but uh, if I spot it I'm going to try to go for it, but I'm not going to like attempt to search every nook and cranny for it. I believe Urgles only get through there if you don't deal with the guards fast enough. So before you stand up, I'm gonna execute you. Alright, let's take this slow and steady. And by slow and steady, I mean start running because they just drop in uninvited. Even though we're the uninvited people here, but complications. And I love how he did nothing to attempt to stop me from shooting him with an arrow in the face. Alright, that did nothing. Have done it better myself. Yes, we have a path here, and no other path to go. So I'm just gonna set you ablaze. You can't hide from me, buddy. Okay, I am going to gain some distance. There we go. The one thing I'm going to just love once I'm finished with this series recording-wise is to 
Not have to bother about dark areas ever again. There we go. Dude with big weapon is dead. Uh, can we just point out the fact that uh, it seems that your allies never seem to do any precision shots and only seem to do the fast firing shots that do like no damage from the enemies? Like, can can we can we talk about that? Because it's stupid. I mean, Murtag. Look at this. Sure, it takes a little longer, but it literally one-shots people. Assuming they don't decide to, you know, introduce blocking to it. Like, oh, B gads, he blocked. Because somehow he blocks my arrow, even a magical one. Like, where where is the sense in that? Oh god, that's bad. So is that. More tag. Cover me, please. I needed that, but okay. We got Fury mode at least. Alright, time to stand up and start... ...lightsabering people to death. <laughs> or use one magical arrow to knock them off a thin walkway. Because that works too. Ow. So glad the Fury Mode actually heals you. Also, a lot of areas where I would have been dead during that. Why risk your lives for us? Because I won't rest until the king is dead. All right, we're gonna drop down here, and right, we can actually shoot people from here. What a neat concept. Shooting people from a distance with a bow and arrow. It's not like I've ever used a bloody bow and arrow in any other game before. Um, except Elder Scrolls, Zelda, D&D. &D. Even though I'm more of a ranged fighter or at times... I don't know, well, melee fighter or at times ranged using magic. Sometimes eh, it's fun to whip out the old bow and arrow. Even though the old bow and arrow in D and D is just only super useful if you're playing a ranger, but which I have honestly never done. Nope, my go-to classes in D and D have been rogue, wizard, bard, and fighter, and the occasional paladin. Because paladins actually got fun to play in Five E. Because believe it or not, uh, I am not a fan of the whole lawful good alignment, which was pretty much the most bullshit thing ever. Like, it's probably not a big deal in like the core rules or whatever, but in the video games where they used it, you basically needed to be um, lawful good in order to even use your um, light spells and like the or the paladin spells because lore wise it was like oh if if not you became became a fallen paladin or oath breaker paladin and basically lost your powers and became nothing more than just a regular old 
fighter, but like it's super super it's stupid like it, it in my opinion it worked a bit stupidly in um, in the video games, but uh, I think it probably worked better in the actual games. Trap Murta! Fight well or die! And... Yeah, back to... This, now that I'm done talking D&D. Because I came in... I started talking about the Ranger... After mentioning that I can play D&D. Uh, whatever. We have to fight our way out, and the more of these Urgles we kill, the less of the area we have to fight in. Very, very neat arena, that. Uh, with the whole fact that they light these oil spills on the ground. And it is possible for you to accidentally head in there, but... Um, you can also make sure that the Urgles accidentally, with big quotation marks, end up in the fire. So yeah, we can burn them in the fire, or we can just... Bracinger Fire Arrow. Die. Yeah, we're just gonna let him burn himself to death. Well, we deal with uh, people who drop in, apparently. Ah! Speaker fire! There we go. Debbie Daddy You know, this partnership could be good for the both of us. You could teach me the secrets of a dragon rider. And what would you teach me? To survive until morning. So yeah, this level is probably one of those where the egg is stupidly well hidden. We can stun enemies by blocking at the right time. So basically, perfect guarding. Well, we have four stages left in the game. And next time, we start one of them, which is Misty Gorge.